century and 250s this tournament, what goes through your mind when you're at the crease? Yeah, look, obviously batting number three, it's about coming in and adapting to the conditions and the situation of the game. Dequella and Hales uh, have got us to, off to a great start the last few games, so it's hopefully continuing that momentum and, and adapting to the conditions. Today you hit another 50. What changes or, what changes or strategies have you used this season? No, not really too much. It's just, as I said before, it's about coming in and assessing the game and um, you know, backing your skills. And um, you know, It's lucky that it's working out, and, but it's a matter of you know, hard work uh, throughout the winter and, and whatnot. You're great under pressure. How do you stay calm and focused during intense moments? Oh, it's <laughs> not always, but uh, look, it's just, yeah, just about having conversations with your partner out there um, and yeah, just taking a big breath and hopefully just watching the ball and not actually getting too, too caught up in the situation. As a key player, how do you help and mentor younger players on the team? Yeah, it's just giving you experience uh, playing all around the world and, and in these um, situations. Uh, but it's a matter of just getting around together, having fun. Um, and then if we have fun off the field, then it will help um, your performances on the field. But yeah, it's about just helping them and, and whatever they want to learn. How do you relax and keep yourself ready for back-to-back -back matches in this tournament? Yeah, it's obviously a tight schedule, but uh, it's, a bit, yeah, it's a matter of uh, taking those days off. I think we might play a bit of golf to get the mind fresh. Uh, but it's about, yeah, pool sessions, recovering. And, and once again, it's about being around as a team and enjoying each other's company. Thank you very much, Tim. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Cheers.